Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna to cook up a delicious, decadent, creamy, cheesy pasta. And it really is creamy, cheesy, because we're going to use cream cheese. And we're gonna use a bunch of tomato, too. These are cherry tomatoes. I got two pints, and I got a little baking dish here. I'm just throwing my tomatoes, whole cherry tomatoes, in my dish. Boom, a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon in here. And I'm gonna get it all mixed up so that my tomatoes are coated in olive oil. And I'm gonna have a lot of flavor in this dish because I'm just using plain cream cheese. And it's also going to have some pasta, so I wanna make sure and add a lot of flavor. Dun, dun, dun! Yeah, we'll get to the garlic. This is heat big wampum garlic. But I'm gonna start off with some Italian seasoning. Look at that, that's a lot. That's probably about a tablespoon. That's a heaping tablespoon. Now you can throw some red pepper flakes in for a little bit of heat. I'm gonna use this Italian seasoning. And we like to use this with breakfast bagels and whatnot, but it's kind of an assortment of Italian flavors and it's got a lot of red pepper flakes in here too. So I'm gonna throw that in there. That'll add it some nice flavor and heat. Then I'm gonna do some fresh cracked black pepper and then a wee little bit of salt. Boom, boom, boom. And lots of garlic. Now you could just use a couple cloves of garlic because of my slight addiction. I've got about six cloves here and they're big cloves. But we'll get all of this finely chopped garlic in here and get these flavors mixed up. Get these tomatoes coated and all of this seasoning. And now I'm gonna make me a little well in the center. I'm gonna make me a little space in the middle of my dish for my cheese. Just a regular bar of Philadelphia cream cheese or you can use a knockoff. Now my mom turned me on to this recipe, but she didn't use cream cheese. She used this stuff right here, which is kind of a fancy pants, uh, creamy type cheese. But look at this here, that's $6. And this is delicious. And if you wanna make a smaller amount, you know, you can give this a try. But I mean, this block of cream cheese here is $2. So you get more cheese for less. I guess your mom thought you were worth the expensive stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I am worth the expensive stuff. <laughs> but this, is, this tastes just as good to me. I'm just as happy with the cream cheese. Now I'm going to take a little bit more olive oil and kind of put it on top of my cream cheese. About another tablespoon. Kind of cover my cream cheese up a wee little bit. Now I'm gonna take my tomatoey cheesy dish and I'm gonna slide it in the oven that I have preheated. And I have it preheated at 400 degrees. I'm gonna let it bake away for 20 minutes. And while that's going on, I'm gonna cook my pasta. I've already got my water boiling here. And I'm gonna throw in eight ounces of this pasta here, which is the small elbows. This pasta works very well with this dish here. Now I made it a couple of days ago with rotini pasta. You know, this has got little curly cues, you know, so it kind of holds the sauce. This is a fantastic pasta to use for this dish. Now I used this last week. I used some large penne pasta and yeah, you know, the smaller pasta works better, but I'm gonna use half of this box. So eight ounces of pasta. So now I'll cover up my pasta and let that cook away and I'll let my tomatoes bake away. And while that's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and crack me a beer and I'll see you in a wee little bit. You're really gonna have cookies. Why are you fibbing to these people? I'm gonna crack me a chocolate chip cookie and I'll see you as soon as this pasta is ready. Beep, 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 beep. My pasta is al dente right now, so it's pretty close. So come on over here, camera girl. Let me chop up these ingredients here real quick. Now, since it's gonna be a very creamy, decadent, Maybe not the healthiest dish. You know, I'm gonna to try to create the illusion of health by adding a little bit of fresh spinach. Now I got like a handful of spinach right here. You know, that's if you got these kind of hands. If you're Shaquille O'Neal, maybe it's a half of a handful. But this is probably just a little bit over two cups. And then I'm gonna add some fresh basil leaves. Yay! And you can add as much basil as you like. So let me give this a little rough chop. And that basil smells delicious. Now let me go ahead and drain my pasta. And it's still dripping a little bit. 
but I'm going to go ahead and throw it in here with my greens. So I'll go ahead and stir my pasta and my greens around a little bit and that'll help to wilt up these greens. And as you can see, that's quite a little bit of pasta. You really want to be mindful when you're making this dish to have your ratio of pasta to cheese and tomato. You want to make sure you got a good balance there that you're going to be happy with because it's very easy to over pasta the dish. So now I'll just set my pasta and my greens aside and we're just waiting on the cheese and tomato. Beep, 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 beep. Two, one, happy new year! All right, so let's take a look at here. In fact, we're not going to uh, take it out. That's what it looks like after 20 minutes. We've had it baking away. So now I'm going to put it on broil. Boom, and I'm gonna set the timer for five minutes and we'll let it broil away. We'll see you in five. Beep, 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 beep. Happy New Year again! <laughs> so it has been five minutes on the broiler. So I'll go ahead and turn everything off. And this is super duper hot, so you want to be careful getting this out of here. Get down here and look at that bubbling. And it smells delicioso. So we've got our roasted tomatoes and the top of our cheese starting to crust up here. So now I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. And you want to be very careful doing this because you don't want to splash any of this hot oil or tomatoes on you. And then I'm going to take my fork and I'm going to go ahead and smash my tomatoes down a little bit. And you can do this as much as you like. You know, you can make it as creamy as you care to. In fact, even if you wanted to, you could just go ahead and put this in a blender and make it super smooth. But it's nice just to have it chunky. You know, so you've got the skin of the tomato you know, you've got that nice roasted tomatoey flavor and it's just a great texture. So now I've got everything smashed down to a consistency that I'm happy with. And now if I wanted to, I could take this sauce and I could pour it into this bowl or I can take this pasta and pour it into my sauce. So you can do whichever feels right. Now, since this dish is so hot, I feel like my life is in less danger if I do it this way. Gotta get out every little last piece of green and that's all there is to this dish. Look at that decadent, cheesy deliciousness. I tell you what, that, uh, that spinach really doesn't make too much of an impact. There's just a hint of green in there. You could definitely add more spinach if you like. You could add less pasta, but this is a lot of cheese. So I think there's more than enough creaminess to coat all of this pasta. I'll give it a little taste test to see if I need to add any more salt, but I don't think I will because I put some salt in here. And the cheese has got salt. Don't burn your tongue. Muy perfecto, but you could definitely adjust the salt to your own liking. Go ahead and give this dish a try. Let us know what you think. I'll have a link down below. You can go over to myfoodchannel.com, print out this recipe, take a look at it. I'll have some hints over there for some other things you can do with this dish. Uh, but thanks for watching and subscribing, blah, blah, blah. And we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye. You ready for a plate of it?